What's going on, Click Squat? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. And we in the clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen of the bitch today, you feel me? Got another informative vid for you guys. Why you wouldn't last 24 hours in the dark ages. Hmm. It's going to be man, very interesting. Man, 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 man. I don't know, bro. Them plagues hit different back then. You all right, but. <laughs> Niggas was walking around dirty. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive, though. You feel me? Like, you know, niggas, niggas was, there was no cell towers, there was none of that. They said 24 hours, though. They didn't say days. Well, yeah, but I don't know, man. Once again, them plagues, they man, were different. You, yeah, you can fight through a plague for 24 hours, bro. Nah, there's, there's a reason why certain plagues aren't around because of the advancement of medicine. But if there's no advancement of medicine and you go back there, your body went, hey, whoa, this air is different. Hey, yo. Oh, <laughs> COVID, 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 COVID. All right, man. COVID we was a play Many technically. people. Look- I wouldn't even try to uh, go ahead and. COVID uh, was technically a, pl- uh, a plague. I mean, yes, this is true, but those were different plagues back then, bro. They, they were, they were a little bit different in, in a sense. They just had to die out. <laughs> That's how. Did- yeah. All right. nah, for sure. Let's get into this one, man. Look at the Middle Ages through romantic eyes. They think about armored knights on lumbering steeds, beautiful love. damsels in pointy hats, dragons, chivalry, and courtly love. Nothing could be further from Let's the Let's see truth. if we can survive, Ross. Come on. Oh, and also incest. Don't forget the incest part, because that was very big back then. Well, I'm, I'm cool on that part. I'm just saying, like... No, he's, you know, he was painting the picture, and I had to, you know, hey, don't forget about the incest. Let's see if we can survive for 24 hours, based off what he's saying. Man. What he says. Mm. We black, so they already gonna look at us as demons. So we gonna have to fight. Or gods. <laughs> nah, they did. They definitely did. Gotcha, gotcha. right. right. Unless we can bring some tech, I can bring a gun. <laughs> yeah, Stay back. Right, yeah. Stay back. <laughs> I got something for you. Look what this can do in one shot. For most people, the Middle Ages were dirty, <laughs> difficult, and really quite dangerous. Let's find out the now voice, why it was commentary. unlikely that you could stay alive and prosper, and why you were likely to die quite quickly during that time. Welcome to Medieval Madness. Medieval. My lord. My, lord. <laughs> <laughs> My lady. What ails you? <laughs> <laughs> I like these times. Communication, though. or the lack of it. Let's just suppose you suddenly arrived in medieval England, that there was some sort of time slip, and now you were stranded in the middle of the 14th century. Ooh, the hi. first thing you would realize is that you wouldn't understand a damn thing anybody nope. was saying. True. The ordinary people spoke Middle English, the posh people spoke French, and the clergy spoke Church Latin. Yep. Speaking only modern English, you might be able to understand the odd word, but an intelligible conversation with anybody is impossible at this point. Uh, definitely with you. Oh, he's a witch! <laughs> Come on, bro. Let me get it out. Let me, uh, how do you say I... Uh, he's a witch! <laughs> That's all. It's uh, He's no. a witch! A woman Stay back. worth. So, now supposing you had picked up a little bit of the language, but you were unlucky enough to be a woman, then you would know all about hardship. Oh, because of the importance oh. placed on biblical texts, well, we good medieval on that women part, were you know usually regarded as morally weak, Sorry. meaning they were oppressed and treated as subservient. Oh. In particular, the writings of St. Paul highlighted men's authority. Hey, some women, they'll be GG'd instantly. Oh, yeah. Uh-uh, don't talk to me like that! Off with her head! Stone her! I do what? A lot of women would be getting stoned. Ah, boy. And it ain't them little rocks either. It's them ah, it's, I'm, I'm telling you right now. It's GG's for a lot of women off rip. Not even equal rights. It's just fights. It's, it's over. It's, it's Rights and fights. It ain't even equal. It's over, bro. Jeez. Party over women and their need to stay silent in church and under the control of their husband. Mm. For mm. the peasant woman, mm. work was gendered and she was responsible for the household chores. Not only spinning, brewing, cooking, weaving, and taking care of livestock and children, Mm -hmm. but also sharing the labor of the farm and fieldwork with the men. Women were expected to marry or become a nun. It is the first option that awaited the majority of women. Marriage meant pregnancy, and that meant childbirth. There was no modern pain relief or nope. sterile hospital settings. Nope. Complications yep. that we now consider to be inconsequential could prove fatal for the medieval mother and child. 
Having money and status didn't guarantee a safe birth, and a caesarean section was only performed if the mother was dying or already dead. In 1420s Florence, for example, one in five women died during Normandy. labor. Death during childbirth was so prevalent that women were urged to write out a last will and testament long before Ooh. giving birth. Which kind of takes the shine off what should have been a joyous event. That's crazy. On, bro. Early life, early death. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Today we consider the death of a child to be rare or unexpected. But if you were born in the Middle Ages, you would be lucky to make it even past your fifth birthday. Jeez. As the child mortality rate was so high, and one third of children died before that age in medieval England. Damn. And the dangers would start whilst you were still in the womb. Unaware of the risks of alcohol fetal syndrome, medieval women would have been blissfully knocking back huge quantities. Yeah, they didn't know, bro. That's or they knew and they were just like, fuck it. I don't think they knew, bro. That's or they didn't have a choice. Drink this. Drink this L, woman. But no, I have. I'm birthing. Drink this L. Do you speak back to your husband? <laughs> woman? You pick up a rock, start fondling him with it. Do you speak back? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Yes, I like I so. said, you went. Now, ale up. I want to have sex tonight. <laughs> but I'm so close to what? What did I say? Oh, this speaking box. <laughs> now you must bring your sister to join you. Use <laughs> <laughs> of ale or wine, or both throughout their pregnancies. And don't get me started on their nutrition. The death of a child is one of the most awful tragedies that anyone can imagine. Hold on, hold on, wait. We're not going to let y'all get away with that. These are the times Ross wanted. Ross in his natural habitat. Don't put that on me. On the cool, hey, bro. Yo, you, nah, we ain't. You nah, got a little no, happy there. This no, segment. no, no. We, nah, nah. I, we think, I think you, nah, you know what I'm saying, low key. Nah. You, su nah. you survive in 24 hours, bro. <laughs> no, I'm not, bro. I'm. I'm already this skin color. This, wow, it's bro. already a disadvantage, bro. I just put a bunch of clothes on and, you know what I'm saying, robe up. <laughs> so it's a King Ross. <laughs> yeah, Ross. This is, this is bad. Nah, right here. We, not, we, not about to, we not about to rock he with that. Nah. Winch, nah. He know the lingo, winch. He know the terms. Nah, we not about to rock with that, bro. Medieval right. Europe, the mortality rate was thought to rise somewhere well. between 20 to 30% mm -hmm. dying under the age of seven, depending That's on wild. the year. That's children dying from incidents during birth, accidents, or because of war or famine and disease. Deadly illnesses included whooping cough, measles, mm. influenza, and stomach infections, sicknesses that can easily be treated today. And the grief was the same for parents living thousands of miles away. In medieval Japan, 48% of the population died as children. 48% is That's practically why every two That's children died. Yeah, bro. Who are you calling a peasant? Uh-oh. The problem with living in the Middle Ages was that 85% of the population were serfs. So yeah. you would have been more likely to be part of that group than not. Tied to the Lord and his land, not only would you have to grow food to sustain yourself and your family, but you would also have to make sure that there was enough to pay the Lord his due too. Damn. You couldn't leave the land without your Lord's permission or even get married. You may as well have been a slave. Yeah, my you lord. would have been always reliant on the weather, too much rain or not enough could be a catastrophe and cause the failure of crops, which led to malnutrition and in the worst cases, starvation. Malnutrition meant a weakened immune system and that led to an upturn in diseases like mm -hmm. dysentery, typhus and smallpox. Ooh. Food, when it was available, consisted of coarse bread made with barley, oats, rye or millet and a thin stew known as pottage. Medieval Europe was teeming with wild game like rabbit, hare, deer and boar. But these were for the nobility to hunt, not for the lower classes and the penalty for poaching was usually pretty harsh. Clothing wasn't the comfiest being made from itchy wool. Houses weren't exactly palatial either. Most had just one room or two rooms with no chimney and perhaps one or two small windows. They oh. were dark, smoky, smelly and unsanitary because they were often shared with animals, especially in the winter when conditions mm -hmm. outdoors were harsh. With no central heating, lighting or running water, is it any wonder that medieval lives were so short? The average life expectancy for most men in the 140 years between 1330 and 1479 was just 24 years. Ew. Women came out better with an average of 33 years. But Always still better. still not great. <clears throat> That's wild. 20. The justice system. Uh, uh, 
just some just some bullshit now. You think it's gonna be even better then for a nigga like me? I have to have some type of blicky on me, bro. Off rip. I'm gonna have to. You better get and I'm gonna have to have arrow. a lot of ammo. I'm gonna have to have a lot of ammo. Get you a bow and oh. arrow, my boy. Bro, it's GG's, bro. Stop resisting. What? I just got you. <laughs> I feel like you resisting something. Come here, Nick. I feel like you about to. That's how the. You know how you go back in time and you end up changing something? That's how the word nigga came about. Because someone went back in time and they just, it, it compelled them. <laughs> Hmm, that's a good flavor when you say it. My nigga. Medieval crime and their punishments were really different from today as well because the church controlled just about every aspect of life from what you wore to what you could eat and when. The so church? no nipping out to McDonald's in your long pointy shoes on a Sunday morning for your McMuffin breakfast. If you were the victim of a crime, there were no police. You just had to scream loudly to raise a hue and a cry and hope for the best. For serious crimes, death was the punishment. Yep. And these didn't just include murder or treason. Forgery, arson, receiving stolen goods, robbery, and burglary were all punishable by hanging. In Damn. fact, stealing anything worth over 12 pence, the equivalent of about three weeks' wages, meant a trip to the gibbet. Damn. Early in the period, the trial gibbet. by ordeal was a thing. Here, the guilt or innocence of the accused was determined by subjecting the suspect to a painful and often deadly experience, such as walking over red hot coals or plunging your hand into boiling water or oil. If Damn. you were innocent, God would perform a miracle and save you. Ah, Petty out, crimes bro. like being in debt, gambling, playing football, or using abusive language in the street were playing also football. dealt with quite harshly. Damn, so I can't Sucker. curse? <laughs> hey, man, the church don't man, play that, bro. That's some bullshit, what you say? You heard me, mom. Help! <laughs> yeah, that's what they help. Oh, you want to snitch? <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta take them out. Yeah, bro. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of random niggas with just small holes in their head. Like, who's yeah. killing these guys? What's going on here? What is What's this sorcery? sorcery? <laughs> nah, bro. We mm -mm. snitches really gotta. They don't get stitches. They just turn into the yeah, body bags. Get -uh. out, bro. <clears throat> so basically, back Leave then no there was witnesses. a lot. Of, there was a lot of snitching back then. Eh, hell, yeah, a lot of killing too, slitting throats. <laughs> shut up, shut up, right now. I found them this way this morning, <laughs> as I was putting on my britches. What you y'all talking about? I'm going, bro. If I'm over here and I come back from our time and I'm talking away, they thinking probably just me normally talking without saying a curse word is probably cursing. So they automatically gonna be like, "Hey, help!" Yeah, help. The, the, the church ran everything. So yeah. if you wasn't yeah. doing according to the church law, you out of there. Hey man, it's just gonna be some some niggas missing. <laughs> help! Why don't you just do right, bro? Why don't you just stop cursing and? Bro, if I'm coming from another time period, they're going to think anything I'm saying is a curse word because they're not going to understand that. Just don't I got talk. tattoos. I'm, I'm going to look like I'm some fucking... Oh, yeah, you out of there, boy. You oh, are, yo. You are. You got you hieroglyphics bro. on this oh, shit. Oh, yeah, boy. You a witch master, man. Hell no. How I, you I, do that? I'm going to be the switch master. <laughs> <laughs> Start switching you niggas off. Don't fuck with me, bro. He's going to wage a war against you. <laughs> They gonna put me in the history books, a nigga with a Nike hat and some J's. It's a very dark, it's a very dark toned man with a lot they of gonna, markings on his body. They gonna see me. It's gonna be a picture of me hitting the gritty. That's wild, bro. Me hitting the ducky, yo, nigga. Nigga's gonna be like, time traveling is real. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know that. Hey, is that? Hold on, man. The nigga went missing. He slipped into a time warp. <laughs> I'm trying to be in the history books. We we gonna change some shit, bro. Well, I was gonna be in the back of this picture right here, just <laughs> the fourteen hundred trips. You know what I'm saying? You look closely in the back. Yeah, I'm gonna have a bottle of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> the tip niggas, here you go. Don't tell nobody. All right, I got you now. I got you. Come back next week. <laughs> Wait, punishments king. ranging from public humiliation in the stocks or pillory to branding or imprisonment. Many people died in prison because of the unsanitary conditions and lack of decent food. Most crime was linked to theft because of poverty, so there was a lot of it about. Oh, oh my That's god, crazy, bro. bro. War, what it isn't good for. Mm. 
Bars. The list of wars mm-hmm. throughout the world what during the thousand year period fault. of the Middle Ages yeah. is insane. Absolutely. In total, there were over 370 wars across many empires, with Damn. the last one, the Italian War, finishing in 1504. Many were fought to see which incompetent was going to sit on the throne next as king or queen, and others were contested for what were thought to be noble reasons, such as the Crusades. But then, as it is today, it was the common people who were left to pay the ultimate price. Mm -hmm. As a serf, and because of the European feudal system, if you lived in the kingdom of one of two rich people who wanted to have a go at each other, then you would be obligated to fight. Yeah, no, the choice. had to supply military service to their liege lord on a regular basis. I'm gonna be messy. Hey, that nigga said y'all kingdom is some bitch-made motherfuckers. Who who said that? Who said that? Uh, It was them over there. (laughs) But it was in your voice. (laughs) <laughs> That's what they told me. Uh, now I said personally, I wouldn't take that disrespect. So what y'all gonna do about it? I can't figure it out. Off with both of their heads. <laughs> nah, you dying? Just good. No, I'm not. I said, now nah, how you gonna figure this situation out, my boy? <laughs> figure it out. Are you gonna the fight weapon that's been killing all of the people? Figure it out. Right, Go that, solve bro. the problem. That's a, that'll be a dope movie. A, a real random nigga. <laughs> <laughs> getting swooped into a, a time hole and surviving. Oh, I'm causing chaos. That's a we, fire that's a fire movie though, bro. We, I'm causing chaos because I'm gonna instigate some shit. And I'm like, I'm just sit back and watch you niggas fuck each other up. Oh yeah, the the black knight oh. that did wait, that did happen. The dark knight, I mean the black knight mm-hmm. with Martin Lawrence. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Kind of did happen. You're right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a definitely do that. We need to, we need to. Re- Men were you know, only sent away for short periods of time, so if you were lucky enough not to die in the first forty days, you could return home. This was because if everyone went off to war at the same, you really said your wife fat. I heard him at the dinner hall. But she is. <laughs> in time, then there would be no one to take care of the nobles. No labor meant no crops and no money for all the wealthy people to spend on silly wars. Mm-hmm. The result was a medieval military that was, for the most part, disorganized, resulting in a lot of dead people. And the noblemen didn't evade death either. Around 30% of them died in one skirmish or another. Damn. As for the commoners, no one really knows the victim numbers. They were thought to be so insignificant that nobody ever kept a tally. Oh. We can only estimate the casualties from medieval wars, both soldiers and the innocent bystanders caught up in the conflict. During the First Crusade at the Siege of Jerusalem, 90,000 people died. Ooh. In all, during the Crusade years from 1095 until the end of the 13th century, there were between 1 to 3 million deaths. Damn. The Hundred Years' War, fought between 1337 and 1453, produced between 2 and 3.5 million fatalities. Bro, oh, for niggas to be fighting time. for 100 years, bro, that's a, that's a long time. Y'all ain't solved it yet. Yeah, let, let it go. Like, nigga, we clearly... We don't That's, need this. Neither one of us. Then I'll be like, all right, bro. Y'all been fighting too long. I'm going to sit you in a room by gunpoint. I'm going to sit you in a room by gunpoint. Solve this shit. I'm killing both of you. <laughs> oh, you can keep running some shit, huh? <laughs> Look, bro. bro. You go to Look, sleep. bro. You go have a nah. dream about it. <laughs> and yeah. I end up back there. You gotta really... <laughs> nah, you really got to survive. If you don't, you won't wake up. <laughs> and in Asia, the Mongol invasions and conquests that took place during the 13th and 14th centuries ended with the loss of between 30 and 40 million lives. Oh Damn. my god! It really wasn't a good time to be a soldier or a peasant. A peasant? Poison. Oh boy. Let's suppose that you happen to be rich during the Middle Ages and able that to afford is... the finer things in life. <laughs> would that have made your chances of survival better? You would definitely have eaten better than the peasants with their bread and pottage. For you, the table would be laden with meats mm-hmm. such as veal, venison, or peacock in rich cream sauces followed by sugar desserts and oh, not the that's beautiful cold, peacock. bro. You could hey man, give me that peacock sandwich. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a fire, bro. And it's all good. And it's fresh too. <laughs> it's a peacock hey, sandwich. That sounds weird, bro. That's like, fucked up, bro. You spitting out feathers or something while you. <laughs> That's fucked up. A peacock <laughs> chicken sandwich. <laughs> That's cold, bro. A peacock chicken sandwich. Oh my god. Wine. You would eat your gourmet food from beautifully glazed plates and drink from delicately decorated cups. Mm. The problem was that the glazing was made from lead oxide. <laughs> oh, yes, no. it looked lovely and it was practical for cleaning, making it very popular among those who were privileged enough to be able to afford it. 
But when salty or acidic food was served on glazed plates or kept in glazed pots, it caused the coating to dissolve and the lead was absorbed into the food. Mm. Oh. Lead is a poisonous heavy metal yep. which collects in the human body over time. Acute poisoning can attack the nervous system and cause headaches, abdominal pain, and infertility. Chronic poisoning may lead to seizures, coma, and death. Because children are still growing, the effects on them can be devastating and affect their ability to learn. Medieval skeletons from cemeteries in more affluent urban areas of Germany and Denmark have shown that people had lead levels well above normal. Damn. Lead was also present in stained glass windows, coins, and on roof tiles. Mm -hmm. Rainwater was often collected from roofs for drinking, oh, and this could have been no. another source of the poisoning. Bread was the main food staple for the medievals. <clears throat> often the rye used to make bread would become infected with a fungus called Claviceps purpurea. Oh, this caused cool. an infection in humans which was called St. Anthony's Fire. There were many outbreaks throughout the Middle Ages which mm -hmm. caused tens of thousands of people to die and millions more to become sick. What we now know as ergot's poisoning caused hallucinations, muscle cramps, nausea, insomnia, and sores. In extreme cases, when left untreated, the blood flow to an infected person's hands and feet is restricted, causing Jeez. burning pains. Gangrene can set in, and fingers, toes, hands, and feet can turn black and drop off. Oh. Some historians believe it is ergot poisoning that is responsible for some of the dancing epidemics that occurred between the 14th and 17th centuries. These epidemics involved groups of people, sometimes thousands at a time, dancing erratically in the streets until they collapsed from exhaustion and or injury. Damn. Thank you for watching this episode of Medieval Damn. Madness. Please subscribe if you Hey, man. All I heard was death. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what it was, bro. That's, that's what it was back then. It was, you know, the life expectancy for a guy is only in his 20s. That's wild. In his 20s? He just joined the church then. Damn, bro. Or become a nun. Nah, this was a this was a crazy one. Just know, you know what I'm saying? Switch rosters in the building. We ain't playing that shit, bro. <laughs> until the, until he get bombarded and run out of bullets. Nah, bro. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Them niggas ain't gonna because back then they hey like, yo, this nigga, he can shoot us from afar. <laughs> That's, niggas just be dead before they even know they die. Like, oh, whoa, whoa, this thing. Yeah, where's your king at? So what Let's if they talk. just do you like in 300, where it's just a whole bunch of arrows coming at you at once? No, they ain't gonna know, bro. I'm gonna be a thief in the night. Nigga. I'm gonna be... <laughs> nigga hood. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. The nigga just Robin a, Hood. Just a thief in the night, man. I'm gonna be in that yeah, whole car. Original, original Assassin's Creed over here. I'm telling you, but bro. Nah, that that was pretty good. wild. <laughs> that was pretty wild, man. Uh, very informative. They I'm had it tough. It. I'm being the history books. I promise you, I niggas you. gonna You're draw pain. Right foot creep. Right foot creep. Up. Right foot creepeth. Creepeth. Whatever the damn word is. <laughs> but yeah, nah, man. If y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Make sure you run up the likes, subscribe. That was wild. Let us know if you think you would make it 24 hours with all that going on. I think I can at least do 24 hours. I could, I could do 24. So let us know if y'all think y'all can make it. This idiot here, bro, him and his blicky going into a wormhole. He better keep it on him. Because once he run out of bullets, they ain't making him. He better get with a blacksmith. But no, we love you guys. Continue to spread love, be love. We catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. The bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me